Hi, Emily Taylor here. Thank you for joining me. I was inspired to create a little Mother's Day project for my sisters and my friends. And I wanted to share what I've done because I think this might be something you would be interested in. So this is the project. It's just gonna be a little pillow. I've got these pillow inserts and I've created this darling little collage. Let me tell you what I've used and then we'll dive into a quick demonstration. So all of the flowers come from my fussy cutting bundle and we've created a new product which is the chinoiserie bundle and this is a mini bundle. It contains six fabrics but with this uh, bundle come, comes the pattern for each of these four little pots. So let's dive in and you can also find these at collagequilter.com and they will be on sale through Mother's Day, May 14th. So you can find them at collagequilter.com. Now let's dive in uh, on a quick little demonstration. All right, so I have my uh, templates traced onto the parchment paper. Here are, I, I just put all four of them on the parchment paper and I have my fabric ready to go. This has all been prepared with steam a seam. So now I'm just gonna dig in. I've also got sitting here my wand iron, I have my scissors and my tweezers and pins. So I am ready to just pound out these little um, bases and pots. And you can see that what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of look and see where the dark is um, in the image and then I will just start cutting fabric and applying it to the parchment paper. So I have my darling little pots 
ready to go. I have pressed them all together so they are stuck to the parchment paper. And I've decided I wanna give them a little bit more dimension. So I've pulled out my ink tents and I'm just going to do a little bit of, to just kind of intensify the shadow. So the colors, I think I'll kind of mix it up um, and maybe I'll do something I haven't done before. But um, right now I have, like here's deep indigo. So I'm just gonna do some cross hatching on this and it doesn't show up too much while it's dry, but if you wait for just a second, I'll add some water to this and you'll be surprised at the intensity of the color. So I've got water um, and a little paintbrush and see how as I add water to this, it really intensifies the pencil, the ink. So the ink now will saturate into the fibers of the fabric and create a nice little shadow. And it's handy to have a paper towel here. Um, sometimes the parchment paper will warp just a little bit because that's what happens when paper gets wet. So if I wanna take out some of the water and also dab some of the ink if I wanna lift some of that off, that will help. So I'm gonna just do that with each of these now and just kind of play, play around with coloring and um, see how it goes. So I have cut several 10 inch blocks. Here are my 10 inch blocks. And <clears throat> I've also been cutting uh, flowers and leaves from the fabric that I sell in my fussy cutting bundles. So just FYI, if you're looking for good stuff to cut like this, uh, you can purchase a fat quarter bundle. We call it our fussy cutting bundle and you can get those at collagequilter.com. So now what I'm going to do is, so all of these have been, they have steam -a seam on them, they've been cut out, and now I'm going to assemble my little composition with each. Look at all this fun stuff, I love it. Oof, it's so pretty. Okay, so now I'm going to assemble each composition by gently peeling away each vase from the parchment paper and putting it on the background fabric. And I won't be pressing anything until I kind of get the composition the way I want it. 